Oh, what a tangled web we weave when first we practice to deceive. Deceive. Deception. Deception is reality. <laughs> the appropriate title of In Your Face Wrestling's anniversary show on Saturday, October 16th in Balsam Spa, New York. So named I here because there's been a lot of deception going on in IYFW recently, and everybody wants to point the proverbial finger at Max Burton. C.J. Scott thinks I deceived him back in April, when it was in fact C.J. who deceived me. That's right. I told him what to do that night, and he wouldn't listen to me. And because of his ignorance and stubbornness, he lost the tag team titles. I booted him as my partner. What else am I going to do? I'm not going to carry around somebody who doesn't want to listen to me. Right? Right. And then Vigo, June, the Coronation Cup show. He's going for the same tag team titles I lost. And what is he doing? Instead of focusing on the match, keeping his eyes on the prize, if you will, he's looking at me, who's standing at ringside, doing absolutely nothing, just observing, hoping he wouldn't embarrass me as a former student of mine. But he did just that. He wouldn't listen to me, and because he didn't listen, the champions got themselves disqualified. Sure, Vigo's hand went up in victory that night, but there was no belt around his waist that that night was over. Pierre Vachon took care of Vigo for me that night. And then Night of the New Breed, August 28th, I am made the interim commissioner of the evening. I'm the one running the show. And it is at the end of that night, it is set. Guillaume de Sade defends the IYFW Championship against Vigo at the main event of Deception is Reality. And I create the most demented, the most maniacal stipulation in the history of professional wrestling, the Hangman's Noose Match. And people think, once again, I've deceived. But no, let me explain to you. I know Guillaume de Sade can't pin Vigo because of his larger stature, so I eliminated the pinfalls. But I also know that Vigo has been raging. He has been desperate to get his hands around de Sade's neck for what he has done to him and Ivana Leach. He would use any weapon at his means to inflict pain and punishment upon de Sade, wouldn't he? So I eliminated the disqualifications. All you have to do to win is put that noose around your opponent's neck. I've leveled the playing field, people. There will be no excuses. Both men know what they are going into that night. So I have yet deceived anyone, haven't I? Now that I've thwarted all those deceptive theories, I do want to address one man who has deceived me more than anyone else in this company in my entire career. Someone who's a former In Your Face Wrestling Champion, someone who's the head trainer at the IYW Academy. Positions that should have been mine, by the way, a long time ago, and he knows that. This is someone I knew when he first started because I was one of his trainers. I helped him get on his first show. I'm the one who dragged him back in the business, kicking and screaming, I might add, in 2004 when he wanted to quit. And he went on to see more success than he ever did in his entire career. I am speaking, of course, of you, Drake Evans. Evans... It's as simple as this. You want to refer to yourself as the new leader in IYFW? You think everyone wants to follow you? <laughs> well, let me just put this out there right now, Drake. If it was not for me and all my advice to you, you would not have gotten to where you are in IYFW. You know it's true. I know it's true. And for all those times I gave you advice, did I ever get a thank you? Were you there backing me up, Drake? No. And it's ironic and interesting at the same time that right about the time you stopped listening to me, Drake, was when you lost your precious IYFW championship. What kind of leaders that make you, Drake? Well, if you want to be a leader, I say October 16th, Boston Spa, New York, Season 4, Deception is Reality, we put it to the test. I'm putting the challenge out right here, right now. You and me, the elimination match of survival. Your team versus mine. Form a team, Drake. Accept the challenge. See if you can find people to team with you because I know exactly the caliber of athlete I'm looking for to back me up. Accept the challenge, Drake. And on October 16th, <laughs> your reality will deceive you, for it will be I who am the true leader in IYFW.